It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. You know, often you've wondered, should I be backing up my Google Photos off the Google Photos cloud in Google? How would you do that? Well, Drew King has an answer for you. And today we're going to talk about using the GUI for our clone to back up your Google Photos onto a other cloud drive. I want to take this opportunity to thank Drew for doing this. If anyone in the audience would like to participate, if you have an idea uh, and you think you could maybe do a little, uh, a little demonstration, we would be more than happy to help you get that on the show. We really encourage audience participation. And I want to thank Drew King so much for taking up the challenge and giving us this presentation today. Now, our clone is a single command line program. And on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, the entire program is just a single file. On Windows, the download is a zip file that contains the executable rclone.exe. Now, our clone is not exclusively for backing up Google Photos. It can connect to and synchronize files over 50 cloud providers. It also supports encryption for those who want to store their personal data in an, in an encrypted format in the cloud. When you install the Windows app, in settings there is an option to tell it what directory you unzipped the file into so you can find it and use it. Below is the website that you can find to download the file for installation. Now once the rclone explorer for windows app is installed and set up there is in the lower left hand corner a button labeled config and that is what and that is the button that you use to create your connection to google photos it walks you through the steps and during that setup it will give you authenticate and grant permission for the software to ask to access your photos in Windows, you can map a regular drive letter to your OneDrive. For example, by default, Windows only allows you to use one personal OneDrive account. And this, is, and this software lets you use as many as you want to. Now let's have a look at the video. Hello, this is a very quick introduction to a program that is not new. However, it is new to me and it is called the GUI for rclone. rclone is an application that we have been talking about for a while that I use, among other things, to back up my Google Photos. This is an application that has a nice graphical user interface and it makes rclone a lot easier to use. And I'm gonna give you a very quick tour of how to back up Google Photos and see if this might be something that I can interest the group in. These are on the left column here, all of my remotes, and I have one called DK Photo. And if I double click on DK Photo, it opens up to a new tab, and you'll see that I have the two that are important to me are album and media. Album is going to expand into a list of all of my albums. If I want to do a backup of my album called Abby, who's my dog, all I have to do is select Abby and then click on the download button. And the source is already filled in and the destination is filled in because I've done this before. But I have chosen in my home folder um, to put, create a folder called GPix and Abby. And if I had an external hard drive, I could put them there. If I click on Run, it will download to my computer all of the pictures in that particular album. If, however, I want to back up media you can see that there are now four options, all, by day, by month, or by year. These are all available from the command line as well, 
However, using the graphical interface like this is much easier. If I were to click here and then click download, it would make, if I ran this job, it would make a download of all of my pictures of all time. Not going to do that right now. If I have a particular uh, day that I'm interested in, I can expand this and it will show me all of the years. And I can say 2021 and it shows all of the days of the year. And I can click on any one of these days and it will back up the photos from that particular day. If I want to click on by month and expand that, it's going to show me again, it's going to show me all of my years. And then if I expand on, say, 2017, it's going to show me all of the months. And let's say I want to back up September of 2017. Once again, all I have to do is click on the download button and tell it to run. And it will make a copy of all of my photos from September of 2017. This can be really handy for photographers that want to back up their photos for a specific or on, a, on a specific day, they might have done a specific type of photograph and they want all of those together. The other option which, which is by year. And again, it shows all of the years. And if I were if I were to click on on the to expand it, it's actually going to try and pull up a list of all of the photos from 2013. You can see I didn't do much in 2013. Um, I'm not a big photographer, but that's what I did in 2013. Anyway, this is a tended to be a short overview of the GUI for Arclone. The downside is whoever developed this is no longer working on it, so it is a couple of year, it is a few years old. However, it works, and I can um, do all kinds of nice things. If I go to my remotes, I can um, say config, and it brings up essentially what is the DOS command prompt, um, where you can go in and configure remotes. And we'll skip over this. And uh, that's all I want to talk about for this video, so I want to keep it short. And anyway, this is the GUI for Arclone.